recently we added this amazing new brand to our website, Scultura Elegante. We completed their series with a new line. Today we are talking about Fendux Taiwan. Let's get this show on the road. from Scutura Elegante. We introduced Pendux this year on the Dutch Pen Show. We started with the Masterpiece Grandes series. Masterpiece Grandes series are lovely, big, bulky piston fillers, and those are pens that we really love. But we know there was another series, the Delgado. And we added this series because they introduced a new color to this series, and we thought, well, just adding one new color is not our thing. We need the whole line to complete the whole Pendux universe that we want on our website. I've got three pens to show you today. This will not be a pen review. So let's leave this to Mr. Stephen Brown, who is amazing in this, and will show you all the pros and cons of a pen, or Pen Ultimate Dave, whose reviews we also really enjoy. So I will just show you the pens. It will just be a brief intro and a show and tell. So I hope you enjoy it. The Delgado series consists of three colors. The new color, Moss, which is pretty popular at the moment. It has a color called Beta, which is inspired by a gorgeous fish. There's another color called Euclea. I hope I pronounced this correctly. And it's based on a bit of a brownish butterfly. Do not fancy the butterfly that much, but the pen is gorgeous. So we're going to start out with that one. This is the Euclea pen. It has a black base. It's a resin mix and it consists of pearly flakes some amber parts in it, and some pink. And I think it's a lovely color combination that they chose. The pen has a rose gold finish, so a rose gold clip with a little roller on the end, a rose gold band around it. It's a piston filler. Once you twist it, you will notice that it has an aluminum piston filler system, which is special made for pen looks. They were two years on creating a pen looks a piston filler system, and it's a pretty sturdy one. The pen comes, of course, with a rose gold finish on the nib. So the nib is rose gold. You can get this in a fine, a medium, and a stud. The pen also, all these pen looks pens have a friction uh, closure on the pen, so you can feel a little feedback. When you try to push the cap on the nib, you have to push it down and twist it, and then you close the pen, so it will stop it from any hard stops or drying out in between uses. So... Pretty, pretty nifty little pen. The other pen that I'm going to show you is the Beta. Beta, we know there's a lot of you playing people out there who love blue pens. It's a gorgeous, uh, intense blue with pearly blue flakes in it, some yellow tones in it, and a little bit of flaky black, so to give it a bit more intensity. The finish is again a golden finish on the pen, and it has a golden Joe nib on it. All the nibs on the Pendlux pen are uh, made by Joe Good nip there. The last pen in this series that I'm going to show to you is the newest color. It's the Moss. And the Moss, we do enjoy this one a lot. It's a beautiful pen. It has a really retro vintage look to it with the pearly swirls in it. Moss green color. Moss green with dark pearl. A gorgeous gold finish on the pen. And though we do know that not everybody is into a gold finish on a pen, we think it matches perfectly with this pen. So... This is one of our favorites in the series, and we think it will go really fast. Also considering that this is um, it's not really a limited edition, but we do know that they have a limited supply of the material of this pen. So it will be a one-off production, and then it will be going out of collection. Just like the cherry blossom they have in this series, because we had some requests about this. This is also already not available anymore. So if you're into your greens... And do enjoy this pen. I think it is really a pen you should look into. Look into pen looks, find a review about it, and uh, enjoy your more screen beauty.
problem. Do what you want. Just do it all. Do it all, and there will be more. There will be more videos following. If you don't, then it's goodbye. Of course, I promised you a writing sample, so I'm gonna write with the Delgado Moss, and in a medium nib, we're gonna use dominant blue. There will be no quick brown foxes here today. I hope you enjoyed this video about the Delgado Penlux series and I hope to see you soon. It's a moss green with dark green. Yeah, like a cola green, so for all the new. <laughs> <laughs> Good.